Um, okay, hi guys, I'm back. Um, um in this video I'm gonna talk about, um, um, a quick video. I'm gonna talk about governors overclocking Irish schedulers. Yep, underclocking as well. E basically, in the, oh, sorry, that was personal. Uh, in, basically, in the previous video, um, I talked a little bit about this in my Sim 10 of a 12. Um, review video. Um, oh, sorry, please don't mind the connection above. I was listening to some music on my beats in the background. I'm focusing on it right now. Okay, anyway, back to the overclocking shit. Basically, if you are familiar with Windows, there's overclocking on the Windows too. Um, like, for example, your device ships at 1 gigahertz, your processor sh um, ships at 1 gigahertz on your device and basically overclocking me overclocks the processor the, the maximum the processor can go based on the kernel we, um, well the kernel is quite involved in this as well without the kernel being overclocked at a high um, oh wait, without the kernel modules, if I'm not wrong, I may be wrong um, your phone should not be able to overclock by default because your like for me Samsung will lock it there a uh, software limited a um, it's not hardware limited like my GPU my GPU can't overclock because it's uh, hardware limited sorry about that okay sorry a little spam there e, so Basically, my device ships at 1 GHz. I'm clocked at 1.2 GHz. Um, how this works is actually the kernel overclocking. As you can see, what governor does. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. What governor governor does is actually the steps in there between the highest oops, the highest max clock frequency to the lowest okay from lowest to highest sorry in between how many steps they are and um, governor is how the CPU is being controlled by steps if I'm not wrong correct me if I am anyways um, I have a whole bunch anyway um, governors are also based on your kernel's mo kernel modules so yeah I was going to list well. I was going to mostly are on the SD card performance. They don't do much. That's for me. Okay, so now to the app itself. I use no free CPU control to adjust the settings of my overclocking and such. There are different other apps, if I'm not wrong, which does this as well. I'm gonna go into Play Store in a while and come back. Okay, so guys, I'm now back here with another popular CPU management app called Set CPU. Oh yes, um, important note: overclocking is only available for root users and for people with root that have the kernel their support overclocking. Okay, that's a little, maybe a little too much, but you get it, <laughs> don't you? I'm gonna simplify it in the description, probably, if I can remember to. Um, if I can't, comment it below and I will remember to. So this is one of them. There are still a lot more, but they are pretty much all unstable. Set CPU is very famous, but I find it a little unstable, which is why I use no frill CPU. I find this the best, the pretty much the best and it's free and um, everything is good, it's smooth, it makes your phone good. However, um, there are certain cases uh, whereby you can just control your CPU, for example, if you are using CM10, you just control CPU settings uh, from performance, but they don't have the wide range of settings and stuff. Like, I can't remember what, but it doesn't have that wide range. And yeah, um, there's another app called EX Tweaks. I use it for my S2, my Samsung Galaxy S2. 
what it actually basically does is a not actually a CPU management app, but an overall. Can you call it overall? Yeah, I guess you can. It's like an overall kernel app. That one's very good. Uh, let me get my S2 to show you in a, in a second. If I can go and get it, I will cut the video here. Okay, so basically, I'm opening the EX Tweaks on my SGS2 um, international model. Uh, EX Tweak only works on the CR kernel. There. There. There, CR kernel. Okay, um, so that's why it's got a kernel app. It controls everything to do with the kernel, including the CPU management, as you can see here. Um, governors, oops, it's got uh, CPU step count, which is pretty much don't want to mess with. On um, GPU overclocking, which as yes, I can't do. Headphone amplifier, orgasm, um, simply but um, scream, backlight notification, miscellaneous, and info. There, Como XAN. Both are amazing people in the XDA. So that is basically a kernel app, you call it. This is called a CPU app, if I could say so. Anyway, so that's pretty much the end of the video. If you have anything to comment on, anything you don't know, not sure about, feel free to um, post in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and comment again <laughs> okay thanks for watching i'm gonna give a few seconds letting you see all this anyways not through cpu it's available on the play store so i set cpu i do not own any applications just so you know so yeah these are the options well the ones i use so i'm gonna show them here in a while um okay so that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching and goodbye.